Hi guys, it's another edition of your everyday web and software tips. Today we are going to do a website redesign. As a web developer, as a web coach, I usually go online a lot and I do see a number of websites. Some of these websites are nicely done, well developed, and some I find that they can actually use a little bit of touch here and there to make it more responsive, more user friendly for the users who normally visit such websites. So, Today, I found one such website and I think a little makeover to this website will make it more user-friendly, more responsive. After the video, I would like to hear your comments about the makeover that I did to this website. So let's dive in. So this is the actual website. Um, it's for a properties company, Rehoboth Properties Limited. And this is scrolling through. This is how the website looks like. So basically, there is an image here showing some of their properties, some of their buildings. And when you scroll down, you see something a little bit about the company. And when you go on, you see latest properties for sale. So they are just showcasing some of their properties in here, which is not bad. Um, when you scroll down, there's a bit here that says what our clients think. So there's a little testimonial here about the feedback that they are getting from their clients, which is also something very important to include on your website homepage. And then a little bit about their properties, um, quality and affordable housing for all. So you can download a form, make a reservation for site viewing, visit offices. And then there's a contact us form here with the address and Google location here as well. And then you also see social media links to their social media platforms. So overall, the website is not, it's not bad in itself, but I think more can be done in terms of the homepage um, to help engage um, the users better who come onto the website. If you look at the overall design, this is how the homepage actually looks like if i zoom out for you to see so from this the sliders at the top right um, up onto where you have the contact form at the bottom section in here so now that we've seen the first website i would like to take you now to the makeover website that i did the second website that i did for this company and whilst you are at it and um, whilst you are on this website the second one I'll do a little comparison and give a little explanation as to why I decided to take some things off and include a few things in there that I think would help engage users better when they visit the website. So let's jump on to the second website. So we are on the makeover. This is the makeover of the previous website I showed you. You can see we have some menu items at the top. We have the logo and in here we have the social media links that takes you to the company's social media platforms. Now let's take the website section by section and compare it with the previous one while I explain to you why I made certain decisions on this new makeover website. Now the first section I would like to talk about is the slider section or the hero section of the home page. Now you can see I put in the experience, the joy of a home. Now, why did I put this in here? I put this in here because normally on any website, you want to sell the benefits of your products or your services to your customers and not actually the features of your product. This is what I mean. When you go onto the previous sites, the, the, the previous site, you can see that it has pictures of vehicles of Rehoboth, offices of Rehoboth, some of their properties, um, the interior design of some of their homes, which is also good, but then it doesn't actually connect with your bias or your potential bias. Because when normally people come onto your website, they are looking for a solution to their problem. So you want to sell the benefits of your product to them rather than sell the features of your products to them. So if you go onto the new website, you have in the background, instead of putting pictures of, of some of the buildings or some of the interior designs of the, the company, I would want to put in something that will connect with your buyers. So every buyer can identify with joy. Every buyer wants to experience the joy of owning a home. And that is what we want to um, sell to 
are potential buyers that when they buy our properties they can tell they can turn each of them into a home where they can find joy and who doesn't want joy everybody wants joy as you as you well know so when you scroll down you can see there's also a form in here that there's a quick form whether someone wants to buy wants to rent wants to sell a house there's a quick form that they can fill and with that information they can quickly search for what they want on your website now let's move on to the next session in the next session i decided to include latest properties so if a buyer wants to check out some of your latest properties you can display some of that in here if you visit the old website you can see um, that they included something like that in here as well which is also um, not bad in itself now let's talk about this section here of the website you, you see there's a lot of text and um, something about Riverboat, something about their properties this is something you can it's nice to include um, um, some text that would help with your overall seo over the overall seo search engine optimization of your website so that google can easily use certain keywords to rank your website on their search results but then no um, normally people would not read all this text so i'd, ra I'd rather not include this on the home page i'd rather find somewhere else maybe on the blog section on the about section to put all of these texts because um, people would normally not take the time to read all of this that is included on the home page of the of the website so if you move back to the redesign you see i decided not to include that in the the home page so let's move on to the next section and this section is a call to action um, section that I decided to include normally when people visit your website you want them to take a specific action you don't you just don't want them reading information on your website just scrolling through and never getting to take any action that you want them to take so if it's a form you want them to fill it's a button you want them to click include that in in there so that they can take the desired action that you want them to take on your home page and that is a section I decided to include in this bit so it says providing the best real estate services and it has a huge button here in red and i decided to choose the color red because i want it to be very visible to the buyer and um, the potential buyer so that they can click and then search for go searching for a property and in here i've just included some features of our properties so they, they get we have modern villas we have furnished homes suite apartments commercial buildings so if a potential buyer is looking for any of these they can find that when they click on the search property button so the next bit we want to look at is the feedback or client testimonials now if you head back to the previous website you can see it says what our clients think and they've included a few things that some of their clients have said about purchasing a home from um, rehoboth properties and i think this is good but then looking at the overall aesthetics, I think this can be improved to make it um, something that people can, um, potential buyers can engage or connect with. So if you go to the new website, I decided to put in the client stories. I mean, people like to hear stories about what people, um, people's experience doing business with companies. And you can see, I decided to include some families in there and what they have said about owning a home at Rehoboth Properties. And I think this is something that people can identify with when they see pictures of actual people or actual families who have actually done business with you. It gives them some sense of trust, some sense of um, security to know that if these families have this to say about your business, then they can um, hope to have the same experience when they come and do business with you. So. On the testimonial section, this is what I did on the, the remake or the makeover. So right after the testimonial bits, I decided to include a video about Rehoboth Properties where you have um, an advert about Rehoboth Properties and how to own a home at Rehoboth. So I included that video in here as well. And videos normally give people um, something they can watch to learn more about your product and it communicates better rather than reading text or just looking at images on your home page so 
So moving on, the next bit is um, our blog post. So if someone wants to find latest news and articles about Rehoboth, there we have that in here at the bottom here where they can just click and see the latest news about the company as well. So they can just click any of these and it will take them to the article where they can read more. So this is where I will encourage you to put a lot of your text which will help with your SEO or Google ranking and this would help you um, help your sites to get found easily um, on, on the internet. So right after the blog section or latest news section, you can you move on to the se section where it talks about some of the companies that Rehoboth has worked with. You can include some of their logos here. And this also builds some sense of trust with your companies when people know the kind of company the, comp the kind of companies that you've also worked with. So right after that, then you move on to the last section in here, which is the footer section, which is also nicely placed in, in a section that has a different background color. And in here, we have some menu items, a logo, then a contact um, phone number, if someone wants to contact the company. Um, and then the address of the company also is here. And then we I included a newsletter form. So if people want to get periodic um, emails from you about trending properties or your latest properties, they can also subscribe here. And it's a, it's a very good way to, to do some form of email marketing, get some contacts that you can email periodically and put, uh, gradually you, you can turn some of these contacts into potential buyers as well. So if you move on to the old website, you can see the contact page is a bit scattered. Um, so if you go to the new one, this is a bit more um, organized and also looks good to the eye. So this is how the makeover looks like. And if you look at the whole structure, you can see this is from the slider all the way down to the footer section. This is how you have the makeover looking like right now. So you have that, which is the, the previous website, and then you have this new one as well. So this brings us to the end of the website redesign tutorial. If you like this video, please don't forget to like the video and also subscribe so that it will help the algorithm push this video to more people. And most importantly, I would like to know your thoughts. So please let me know what you think of this website redesign. Um, what do you think I could have also included in there that would help with websites, homepages? I would really like to know what you think of it. So please leave your comments in under this video and I really appreciate and respond to them also quickly for you. Thank you very much for joining me and I hope to see you 